Now, tech reporters and enthusiasts from around the world will descend on Barcelona over the weekend ahead of this year's Mobile World Congress, which kicks off next Monday. Among others, Korea's tech giants Samsung and LG are slated to unveil the latest lineups, the latest additions rather, to their lineups. Our Song ji -sun gives us a preview. Samsung is aiming to get a jump on the Mobile World Congress opening on Monday in Barcelona. It's set to unveil two versions of its new Galaxy S6, the standard version and the S6 Edge, at a press conference on Sunday. The Edge is set to have a curved screen that covers two sides, a technology already applied to its Note Edge model on one side. The latest addition to the Galaxy series will likely feature a Quad HD Super AMOLED display, an upgrade from the S5 series, and a case made entirely of metal and glass, drawing comparisons to Apple's iPhone 6. The S6 is also expected to feature the new Samsung Pay system, following the company's acquisition of the U.S. mobile technology firm LoopPay in a bid to make inroads into the mobile payment technology market. Unlike last year when it revealed its Samsung Gear smartwatch alongside the Galaxy S5, Samsung has no plans to introduce a new wearable device this year, so the focus is solely on its new smartphone model. LG Electronics, on the other hand, is hoping to draw attention to its new wearable devices. Its new smartwatch is able to connect to a high-speed 4G wireless network, making it the world's first smartwatch equipped with the LTE, or Long-Term Evolution Network. The LTE version of the watch Urbane enables users to speak through the device without their smartphones present, and will also come with its mobile payment service installed, which allows users to make purchases by touching their smartwatch to an NFC or near-field communication transaction device. The watch can also be submerged in a meter deep water for up to 30 minutes, and it has an extended battery life that allows it to last a few days on standby. Song Jisun, Arirang News.